in this battle we are taking on KDE 516A and um, I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads recently it has actually been a very long time so anyways um, if we're gonna start I do kind of like the idea of, of this guy going in first um, it's probably not the ultimate play. I don't. I really don't think there's much of a consequence of going into Sizer here, other than Giratina probably having Will O Wisp. So I can probably U turn out if I need to. This this should be, I think, a good a good matchup here, unless he has like Flame Trevor in his Dragapult or Recreate on this Rayquaza. All right. I'm gonna hit him with the uh, probably with the U turn. I'm gonna take the risk and gamble that he doesn't have recreate on this. If he does, then I'll probably have to start taking this guy really seriously. I'm gonna lose Sizer. But like, I, I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to get on Rayquaza, so I haven't seen it, which is why I'm taking the gamble here. Probably not gonna do too much damage here though, since it is a flying type, so it's gonna resist the U-turn pretty good. But I mean going to be enough momentum to get something more potent into the game like maybe Tundra's he's gone for a dragon dance huh yeah that does no damage it's not good okay Latios Hudo has a choice scarf Let's see speed 110 so I could fire off a Draco Meteor just depends on if I outspeed or not Unfortunately, no. <laughs> it's not good. Um, Tangro can't even really come in. I'm kind of cooked, aren't I? Kelder doesn't really want to come in either. I'm thinking Tundra is here is my best friend to some extent. Not really. I think I'll have to pray that I actually outspeed here. I'm like really cooked. I do have a choice scarf, which will help. Okay, that's so clutch. That's so clutch right there. Man, if that if that didn't work, I would have been I would have been super cooked. I'm not gonna lie. Like that is a lifesaver. Okay, he goes into Grim Snarl, which I can't touch. So I'm gonna have to switch out here. He knows I'm gonna have to switch too because the choice scarf has been revealed. Um, I hope he doesn't go for a knockoff. Taking Tangro would be a fun play here, but I'm not sure. Glasgow wouldn't make sense unless he goes for a knockoff, so I think Tangro is definitely the move. Okay. Take that. I'm gonna fire off Sleep Powder. I definitely want to inconvenience this guy if I can get to that. Alright, Gengar comes in. He's not gonna like this sleep powder right here. Oh, it awards it. Alright, that's fine. Don't really care because uh, I have switch ins. Actually, I don't. I lied. <laughs> that's not good. Um, this does have special defense, however, but I don't think that's the play. What about this guy? I don't know. I don't know if he wants to switch in on a Shadow Ball. I think he does to take the gamble that it takes it pretty good I mean I mean he's probably gonna go for sludge bomb actually if I had to make a guess here so I should get the resistance and now I get the okay he goes for shadow ball I guess he's probably playing in neutral here we do actually take that like a champ and we have our poison heal activated I could go for an earthquake but I'd rather switch out to be honest um let me see what kind of defensive setup do I got here so some special defense, but not that much. I actually don't know who would want to come in on this. I mean, Latios would definitely revenge kill nicely with the Psy Shock, but I don't think I can bring him in. And really, to be told, I actually cannot touch Grimmsnarl with Latios unless I go for a trick. That would definitely hurt it, but it's not going to be very effective. Uh, I actually don't know, man. I'm just going for an Earthquake. 
Okay, he goes for a sludge bomb. Not that smart. We're gonna take that really good. This earthquake should be satisfying. And it's actually a one shot too, which is great. So there goes Gengar. Another problem eradicated. And we get a lot of HP from the uh, poison heal. Dragapult comes in. He is not gonna like Sizer that much. Neither will he like Keldir. Um, I kind of feel like Sizer right now though. I actually don't know. Tangro could come in too. Probably Tangro is the best play. Or I could just stay in as well. So he doesn't get Levitate. But I don't think that's the play. I mean... May as well actually. I'll just switch out if I need to. Okay, that is kind of weak. Probably go for round two if I had to guess. Oh no, he doesn't. Goes for Dragon Dart instead. Probably have to let Glasgow go down here. I hate to say it. He's gonna have to make the sacrifice for the team. Uh. Yeah. Be good, buddy. He's gonna go down now. I hate to see it, but sacrifice had to be had to be made. And Sizer's coming in with the bullet punch, so I don't have to worry about this Dragapult anymore. I mean, Grim Snarl should be a problem that could be dealt with too with bullet punch. So, he's kind of running out of options. He's probably going to end up going to Giratina here. I forgot what his last Pokemon is. Um, we're going to see. So I, I, I don't really memorize these things. Okay, Metagross. That's actually not too fun, but I can just U-turn out of this. So, I'm fine. Like, he can't really do too much damage. And we actually outspeed him, which is crazy. It's no damage, but it's not too big an issue. So I could... I think this is probably going to be Mega, actually, so... I actually don't know what the optimal play is here. I feel like Kinkelder, but I mean, if he... Yeah, I mean, Tangro is probably the best play. Should be able to eat up anything that he chose out, and Sleep Powder will neutralize him. Okay, he goes for the Rock Slide, so it looks like this isn't his Mega hit him with the uh, sleep powder right here hammer arm avoided which is fine probably wouldn't change too much of the course of this game if it landed or not so I just regenerated it off and he would take chip damage uh I feel like tenderous right now probably fire off a powerful t-bolt against this guy his rock slide shouldn't do too much I mean it probably will bring me down like really low but I should be able to live it so I'm not too worried here this should do some nice damage. Yeah, it's a KO. That's what I like to see. I mean, Metagross has good physical defenses, but I mean, I don't know too much about the special side. It's not that great there, so I want to take that. All right. Um, I might need this later, so I could wall switch out into what though? It's a question. Probably can kill there. Actually, not really. You know what? I don't know. I'm gonna just attack. I mean, I do have Sizer. Yeah, that's not that much damage, but I mean, it's kind of it kind of makes sense. I mean, this is Giratina Origin. I'm a, I'm actually maintaining the HP right here, so I'll go into. Huh. Probably Sizer. I don't know if that's the best play. Yeah, you know what, Sizer can come in. Because I can always just um, boost off the damage and then I can go for a sword stance when he's going for his his shadow force. Yeah, that's no damage. Sword stance should kind of put him in a checkmate position because my bullet punch will be able to clean through the rest of this guy's team if he's not careful enough. I think if he goes for shadow force here, I can just um, go for sword stance and then I can roost. I mean, I think bullet punch after plus two or three or whatever should be enough to finish off the job. Let's see what he does though, in light of this. Maybe he forfeits, there's no way he can break through this. We'll see. He's taking his time. Okay.
Okay, bro. Make a move. Yeah, right there. This GG.